Hi, this is Randy Nordell, and welcome to episode seven of the uh, SimNet instructor tutorial videos. This one is going to be on the organizer and Sim student. And the organizer is a way to arrange um, content and group content in SimNet for students to organize it for students and also to change uh, content settings on assignments. So let's get into the organizer first and a few different ways to get in the organizer. First of all, if, if you have your courses starred, you can click on the organize button here and that will take you to the organizer. You can also go to view all courses and from this area, if you click the actions menu on the right, you can choose organize. Um, also, if you were in the edit assign area, you could click on the actions menu and choose organize. All of those different ways will take you to organize. Best to have your courses starred here and I click on, I like doing it this way and click on the organize button. So this is the organize area. All of our content that you've added to the course is, is in here. And so what I'm gonna do, and typically what we do in the organize area is group things, create groups or folders. So I'm going to, at the class home, always good to check and probably best to make sure that your sort order is custom. This allows you to drag uh, groups and different assignments in whatever order you want to put them into. So check on this. You can have it in different different ways, title, due date, all that. Custom, I find custom order tends to be the best. Make sure you save that if you change it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a group here and name this group and we'll call it Excel Chapter Excel Chapter 1. Now you could arrange, you could create groups for weeks, modules, uh, by applications, whichever way you want to do it. I'm just going to put in um, chapters for this one and save that. And what it does is create that group there. I'm going to go ahead and just create a couple other groups real quickly here and do chapters uh, uh, two, three, and four as well. Once I create all my groups, then I can drag them around in whatever order I want. So I just click on the folder, drag it to where I want to drop it, and there it is. So now those those groups are in that order. Now I could just start grabbing content and moving it around. This intro chapter I want above chapter one. So I'm going to just drop that up above the chapter one group here. Now I have a few things from chapter one that I can add. I can add this sim book. I have three projects here I can add and I also have a quiz down here. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these using the checkbox. And once I've selected all those, I could take them and drag them in to the chapter one folder. Once they're in the chapter one folder, then I can drag whatever these around into whatever order I want. So I'm gonna drag the sim book first, and then I'm gonna do the projects next. And I'm gonna do them in order, do the guided, then the independent, then the advanced, and then the quiz. So they're all in that order. Once you do it with one chapter, you could do it with all the other chapters as well. Once you get all your groups organized, I have I have everything in chapters. Again, you could do them also in modules or weeks or by applications. You can either ha even have groups inside of groups. Um, once you have all that organized, you can uh, collapse. Use the collapse button here to collapse down and see see it just by groups and those thing those items outside of groups. I have a capstone project at the end, an intro chapter at the beginning. I can click the um, expand little triangle here to the left to expand each individual group or I can click the expand button down at the bottom to expand all the groups. Also in the organize area you can change the settings of assignments. So assignment details that you've used when we've added assignments, we've added sim books and projects and exams, you can adjust dates in here, you can adjust settings, you can only do it one at a time, one item at a time in the organized area. Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, the bulk edit feature, which is in the edit assign area to bulk edit dates or other settings of a group of assignments. 
So this assignment details, great. Make sure if you do change anything on assignment details that you always click save. If you make some changes to the assignment details and you try to move away from it, um, it will, it will uh, dialog box will pop up saying you have unsaved changes. This is also an area if you wanna change the title of an assignment um, so that it's a smaller title um, for the grade book that's not, not quite so long, you could do that and customize that title. Um, and that's the organized area. One thing you might want to do also is use the Sim Student, and you can keep going back and forth with this. The Sim Student shows you what students will see. So if I click the Sim Student view, it's going to have me select a course, and this is the course I've been working on. And it's going to open it up in a new tab, and it's going to show you what the students will see. So when the students are in the assignments area, they'll see it this way. So this the organized area is nice to keep it organized and um, nice and clean for students. So it's not just a clutter of assignments. So this is what the students will see. If I go into a chapter, you'll notice there's the sim book, the projects are in order, the quiz is here. I can click back on home here to go back to the home and see those. Um, but this is called the sim student view. And I can, if I make changes in the organizer view here, um, if I go back to Sim Student, I can refresh and those changes will display. So it's kind of nice to toggle back and forth between the Sim Student view and the Organizer view to organize your class. So I hope this was helpful. The Organizer, Sim Student, have a great day.